Welcome to July Said News. My name is Rob. And today, just like the thumbnail and title suggests, it really does come down to all about protection uh, for what's going to happen in the future in 10 days. What I'm talking about is there was a tweet from the big short celebrity, uh, Michael Burry, and he put out a tweet that just said, sell. And that was uh, essentially it, which you think is kind of odd because today we've uh, seen a little bit of traction, a little bit of uh, movement up in the market. And what happened from this tweet, which was yesterday, then, of course, this is from Grid Capital. He said, Michael Burry tweets sell last night, later deletes the tweet, market rockets up, Barry deletes his, his entire Twitter account. And it's kind of funny because if you take a look at the S&P 500 over the last day, I mean, it's doing pretty good. I mean, five days, it's looking even better. Uh, take a look at uh, NASDAQ, same thing, one day, five days. And of course, in our market, crypto, it's fantastic. I mean, 4% in 24 hours, 8%. You could have missed out on 8% on Ethereum. And down the line, 15% for Matic and Slot 13 half. I mean, just enormous gains. And really what this all comes down to is like this. With Michael Burry and everybody that's out there, you have to understand where are they coming from and what is their time horizon? That is the big thing because a lot of people, they misconstrue people who are uh, jumping around in the market, uh, buying a little bit, selling a little bit, being traders, being scalpers, and not really understanding where you fit in that relation to the people that are investing. So I gotta tell you, for me, I'm a long-term holder. I'm not gonna sell a ton of my crypto uh, moving forward. I do take profits along the way, but not near uh, a ton of like, say, what Michael Bray did, which in, uh, I believe in August of 2022, when he came out and said, look, sell everything, and he did. He, he sold he sold all his, uh, all, all his stocks. And right now you're probably thinking to yourself, well, that's ridiculous because, I mean, look how well the stocks are doing. But is it? So if we jump back real quick and take a look at the last year or so, August 1st, 2022, I mean, yeah, you could have seen some upside uh, coming back here, all the way up here. But look at the downside of what happened. Heck, Michael Burry was right. But the question is, what was his time frame? I don't think he is like someone who holds on to stocks for you know five and ten years as uh, the big short sh uh, movie showed and then we take a look at uh, uh nasdaq as well i mean last year the exact same thing i mean you had it over here in august august 4th august 1st a little bit of an upside but look at that downside <laughs> i'll be darned he was actually right and then if we take a look at at uh, bitcoin itself i mean how does that look as far as over the last year of what our market did well here we are over here around uh, August 1st, 23,000. That's pretty good. A little bit of an uptick, but then look at this downside, ba-boom, then ba-boom, a little bit of a rally, sideways, and then a big drop off. So again, it really does come down to what is your time frame for what you want to do. Now you can buy and sell and time all the market. I'm not that guy. Maybe you're not that gal or guy to do those things. But it just depends on what you want to do. And then also, I mean, for Pete's sakes, uh, Jim Cramer, who's famous for some pretty bad calls, quite honestly, I mean, he was right on this one. He said, look, <laughs> he says, Michael Burry says sell, and Jim Cramer says buy, and Jim, for the short term, got it right. But again, will Jim be right in the next four or five months, and will Michael be vindicated? Who knows? I have no idea. But just remember this, that uh, Jim Cramer on December 6th said, get out of crypto. And of course, he would have done that. That had been like not the greatest time frame to get out of it. And this is what it all comes down to, 10 days. And again, I don't know what your time horizon is. I can't give you financial advice. I'm not your dad. I can't really do anything for you. I mean, I can just tell you what has historically happened. And one of these things is taking a look at how if you invested $10,000 in the S&P 500 over 20 years from 1999 through 2018, if you would have missed the 10 best days, the 10 best days in the market, you would have gone from making a full 5.6% annualized year over year. It would have been cut into like almost a third to 2%. If you had missed the 20 best days, 0.3, negative 2.4, negative 4, negative 5, negative 7. So you get the drift. It really comes down to how long can you stay in it to realize the returns that you want to and understanding who you are as an investor. I'm not a short-term trader guy. I will take profits on the way just a little bit just to kind of get, just to kind of grease the wheels so I know what it is when I'm selling. So I don't forget that I have to do that at some point, not hold on for like uh, for dear life, diamond hands, ridiculousness. So 
that is the point that we're trying to make here. De determine what your, what your time frame is, make a plan, stick to that plan. If you don't have a plan, it's okay. I got a video. And it's not that I want you to do this, but this is what I'm going to do. I'd like you to watch this video to understand where I'm taking my profits, what I did in the last bull cycle, what I will next do in the next bull cycle, and how I'm looking at this a whole different way moving into 2024, 25, and 26. There'll be a link in the description. You can watch that. Or if uh, you don't like ads or don't like popping around or finding all like the best videos, just go to danteachescrypto.com. It's 100% free. I made it free for you. So you can find all my best information and just download it or watch it there. And it's just, you know, it's like everything's just broken up. The basics, the safety, how to make sure you use a ledger. What, uh, of course, the basics of what is crypto, what is Bitcoin, module three investing, the same videos that I was talking about is they're all right here for you in a very easy format. So you don't have to do anything. I don't even spam you. All it takes is like, like an email to sign up. All my best information is here. So check that out. And that concludes that part. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section. However, there are some good news on the horizon. I don't know if you knew this, but uh, first of all, this is Ben's website. I steal from his website all the time. He knows I do. But uh, the Bitcoin monthly returns table. You know that this is the second best month for any year since the first Bitcoin halving. We almost hit 40% in January. I think there's something brewing. I don't know how big it could be, but me even saying that, what's to say that we don't collapse tomorrow? I don't know. We could go down negative 150, I don't know, negative 100%. I, I, I have no idea. But if we just look statistically, I mean, this is the, the best month we've had in quite some time. The next best month was 2013, 57.69%. Now in 2011, yes, it was almost 67%, but I'm talking about after the halving. The first halving was 2012, next halving was 2016, the third halving was 2020. And here we are in January at almost 40%. And February is looking pretty darn good, I must tell you. On top of that, good news. I don't know if you knew this, but uh, this flew under my radar. This happened just yesterday. Level Field Financial become the first FDIC-insured bank to offer traditional banking and Bitcoin services in the, in the United States nationwide. So this is what's happening. The firm would offer customers a full suite of products and services from additional banking services to digital asset services, all within an FDIC insured institution. That's a very key word right there. Four letters, FDIC. In the past, we haven't had a good collaboration with FDIC, which we're gonna take a look at uh, next with Gemini and also with uh, <laughs> Voyager. So, Level Field Financial, a US financial firm that offers digital asset services, have announced the acquisition of Burling Bank, FDIC insured Illinois State Chartered. The $50 million deal will make Level Field the first FDIC insured fully compliant finance entity that handles Bitcoin. Once the acquisition is complete, the bank plans to offer Bitcoin buying, custody, and borrowing to clients on top of enabling, enabling them to get to Bitcoin, Bitcoin rewards, debit, and credit card, which is great, but there's always a catch. And the catch is this. The acquisition is still subject to the approval of the relevant regulatory authorities. And if approved, it'll happen sometimes later this year. So hopefully that does go through. And speaking of FDIC insurance, the Winklevi, uh, looks like they're getting investigated even more. So crypto exchanges emphasize FDI insurance and communication with earned customers when they in fact were not. According to the report, Gemini's discussions with customers referred to it being FDIC insured, but appeared to be in reference to the firm's deposits at other banks, meaning you weren't FDIC insured with your crypto. I don't know why people would, would believe that, but it's not true. With Voyager, at least they said, hey, your cash is FDIC insured, but it wasn't stable coins. It was the cash that they put into the bank in, in New York City. And of course, you had to, we had to go through a long litany of, of process to get that just that cash out, which was a nightmare. Uh, as opposed to its own products, a distinction with customers did not seem to understand. It's, it is against the law for a financial firm to imply that an uninsured product is FDIC insured. So on top of the SEC investigating them with what's going on with Genesis, now they're getting investigated for the FDIC complaint. So we'll see how that plays out. But that is never good when things are compounding in a negative way against you. And speaking of negative, Celsius was insolvent since inception investigation finds. On this channel, 
I just got to say sorry. I'm sorry I ever had Alex Machinsky on this channel. I'm sorry that he lied to me and you. I'm sorry that we've got our funds on there. I got a whopping six figures I probably never see. And really what it comes down to is the product worked until it didn't, and they got over their head, and they screwed a lot of us. Here's what's happening. The company halted withdrawals and transfers in June 2022 amid a liquidity crisis citing extreme market conditions. According to a court-ordered investigation of the company, the falling price of Bitcoin was only part of the problem. Celsius's failure was, in fact, intrinsic to its business model. Celsius Network on a standalone basis has been insolvent since inception. That's from Shoba Pillay, the formal federal prosecutor tasked with investigating the company in a report released just a couple of days ago. The report says that while Mashkinsky promised customers their deposits were safe with Celsius, oh, he said that on my channel too, he and other executives were actually using those deposits to buy and prop up sell the company's native crypto while they sold their stakes in the coin for profit. Classic pump and dump. The maneuver benefited Celsius execs while depleting the company's liquidity. So here's the big question. Was it a Ponzi? Martin Glenn, the bankruptcy judge for the Southern District of New York, appointed Pillay in part to investigate the claim. While Pillay did not explicitly say if Celsius met the criteria for such a scheme, her findings implied it. She states, in some instances, between June 9th and 12th, Celsius did directly use new customer deposits to fund customer withdrawal requests. So here's the thing. When everything came out with Celsius, I was pretty adamant. I was like, okay, let's see if we can get this done. But as time has moved on, I've been very vocal on the fact that things aren't going to happen. The only people that are winning in this chapter 11 are the lawyers, and they will continue to win, and they will continue to siphon the funds out of us until we stand up and say, we need to liquidate. There, the possibility of a new org reorganization for Celsius is slim to none. I don't know about you, but why would I trust somebody who's already screwed me over once? First, shame on you. Second time, shame on me. There is not a chance that I will let anybody who was involved in Celsius do a reorganization, do what's right, liquidate everything, get us back our funds so we can reinvestigate or reinvest. And that's all I'll say on that. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments section. And lastly, just to finish up, Sweatcoin. So we had a nice little uh, uh, steps challenge and those uh, winners have been announced. And you can see that there's a link in the description for the Sweatcoin giveaway. And they, they won some pretty fat prizes, I gotta, I gotta be honest. And I gotta say thank you to everybody who I reached out to and said, fine, you know, said, yeah, sure, we'll, we'll contribute. So Sweatcoin, they were giving away tens, like thousands of uh, sweat tokens, Ledger, Token Metrics, Coin Ledger. Uh, Stonebook is where I keep all my, my private phrases and mnemonics. Tencent, uh, Arculus, uh, Epic Art, which is uh, crypto art and uh, meld uh, their token, the NFT, ladies and <laughs> these nuts. I love those guys over at the NFT uh, 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 program or platform. Oh, they're great. And uh, you can just see, I've already reached out to everybody who has been the winners. Uh, that was from one through 30. And I've talked to them about how they can claim their rewards. So don't try to email me. I've already done my job. So no scammers. And that's it. So look. That concludes today for the news. If you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. A lot of things we talk about are very time sensitive and things are moving at a breakneck pace. But uh, I will say thanks so much for showing up. I do appreciate you. And that is it. So thank you. And I'll see you on the next one.